So the 2024 election is over. Donald Trump beats Kamala Harris. An electoral college landslide, 312 electoral votes to 226. And the ladies over at The View, well, except for Whoopi Goldberg, are all dressed like they've gone to a funeral or they're going to a funeral. Well, to me, that funeral is should be for the dumpster fire that's the Democratic Party. So this is from the New York Post. The View co-host Sonny Hostin blames uneducated white women for Trump's victory. This is from David Spector. The View host Sonny Hostin slammed educated white women or uneducated white women for Donald Trump's victory and said she's worried about internment camps during a morbid episode or a moribund episode of the program on Wednesday. I'm profoundly disturbed. We know how that he will have unfettered power, Hostin said. Wearing all black, she said that Donald Trump's historic win makes her worry for her daughter who now has less civil rights than she does. What? Here, let's just uh, play this clip here so you guys can all hear what she had to say. I, I don't know. I'm profoundly <coughs> disturbed. Um, I think if you look at the New York Times this morning, uh, the headline was America makes a, a perilous choice. I think that in 2016, we didn't know what we would get from um, a Trump administration, but we know now. And um, we know now that he will have almost unfettered power. No, what we know, Sonny, is that we're going to get lower taxes, lower inflation, um, drill baby drill. We're going to unleash the economic might of the United States. Um, peace through strength, as Ronald Reagan used to say. Remember, under Trump, we had no new wars. What have we had under the Biden for the last four years? Or I should say the Biden-Harris administration the last four years. But I digress. And so I worry, not about myself, actually. I don't worry about my station in life. I worry about the working class. I worry about my mother, a retired teacher. I worry about our elderly and their Social Security and their Medicare. So care. Sonny is just so worried about everything. She's worried and worried and worried and worried some more. I worry about my children's future, especially my daughter, who now has less rights than I have. And I remember my father telling me many, many years ago that I was the first person in, in his family to enjoy full civil rights. And now I have less civil rights than I had when he told me that. That is an out and out right lie. Sonny, you don't have less civil rights than you had when your father told you that. Your daughter does not have less civil rights today than what she had before the election. That has not changed. And it's not going to change. You're, you're, th this, is why, this is why I don't know how or why people even watch this show. I was going to watch it yesterday, but then I decided, no, I got better things to do. I'll catch the clips. I'll catch the, the, the reports. And this is precisely why. So, again, I'm profoundly disturbed that the 14th Amendment of the Constitution did not prevent someone who participated in an insurrection from becoming... That is a lie. Did you even watch the speech he made that day? Did you, did you didn't, oh, that's right. You couldn't see the posts he made on Twitter at the time because they took him down. Where he said peacefully, peacefully. Becoming president of the United States. I think that going forward, the convicted felon box on employment applications better be taken off because if you can be the president of the United States, then you should, then you should not be prevented from employment in this country. 
Oh, that's a straw man argument there. Those 34 counts that he was found guilty of in New York, that's on the way to being overturned. But wait, there's more from Sonny. What do we got now from Sonny? And I, I think our health care system is now at risk. I think um, no fluoride for anyone. Yeah, economists have made clear <laughs> that um, he's going to increase the debt by 7.75 trillion dollars. I'm worried about mass deportation and internment camps, and I'm also worried about Elon Musk warning Americans to prepare for temporary hardship. Mass deportation and internment camps. When has he said he's going to do internment camps? Mass deportation, well, Sonny, mass deportation is for people that have come into this country illegally, which I don't know how you people don't understand that. You're breaking the law by coming into this country and crossing the border illegally. It's, it's cut and dried. It's not hard. But for, for the people like Sonny Hostin and the ladies on The View, that seems to be a rather difficult concept to grasp. Um, I'm surprised at the result, but I'm not surprised. As a woman of color, I was so hopeful that a mixed race woman married to a Jewish guy could be elected president of this country. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that it had nothing to do with policy. I think this was a referendum of... Um, cultural resentment in oh there it is folks there it is it, it had nothing to do with pol it had everything to do with policy she had zero policy she couldn't answer a question when she was asked about policy president trump put out his policy oh yeah and 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 besides that they kept saying Project 2025. No. It was always Project 47. It was on his website. Still on his website. In this country. Now, little Anna Navarro, she had some things to say. Well, I think it, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I think it has to do with a lot of things, that being one of them. I'm, uh, I'm obviously very disappointed. Uh, I'm, I'm very sad. I was at the Kamala Harris uh, headquarters yesterday in Washington, um, and it was, it was a very sad scene. The mood turned immediately. And um, I, I tell you, there's, uh, there's a quote I get a lot of inspiration from, and it's a quote that I read when I was reading about John F. Kennedy, and it says, whether I am on the winning or the losing side is not the point with me. It is being on the side where my sympathies lie that matters. And that to me brought me a consolation and inspiration this morning because I have no regrets. Yep. I worked hard as hell to elect the first black Asian woman president. History slipped through our fingers again. I worked hard as hell for Donald Trump not to be president. But today, unlike Donald Trump and his followers, I acknowledge that he won. Mm -hmm. I hope right. for the best for our country. And I make a commitment to our LGBTQ, to yes. our immigrants. You know, there's a reason why Donald Trump did not acknowledge that he lost in 2020. And there's a little, there, there's a little, uh, image floating around social media. I don't, I don't have it pulled up for this video, but if you find it out there, take a look at it and see it because it does raise quite a bit of questions from four years ago. That's all I'm going to say. To our elderly, to our young girls, to the women that we will not stop fighting. We can be sad today. Yeah. Today we can be sad. Tomorrow, we stand up and we continue. We have every right as Americans, because we love this country, because this is the most exceptional country in the world, we have the right and the duty to speak up and denounce abuses of power, to be vigilant. And so I invite all Americans. Then why aren't you denouncing the abuses of power that have happened the last four years? 
Oh yeah, that's because you're on their side. You're on their team. That's why you have it, Alan Navarro. I, it just, folks, the, the, this, again, I don't know how people watch this show. It's, it's, it's mind boggling, but that's just a little taste, a little sample from the view yesterday. This is from uh, Two Fab by the Two Fab staff. Well, Whoopi refused to say Trump's name and have vowed to never stop fighting, and Republican Alyssa Farah Griffin, who did not vote for Trump, speculated on who felt left behind by Harris. Ex cohort Megan McCain, meanwhile, criticized the show on social media. Now, it's not often that I agree with Megan McCain. Um, I mean, She's not one of my favorite people, but every once in a while, I do agree with her. And this is it right here. Though Megan McCain is no longer on the show, she preemptively criticized The View on Tuesday morning before the episode even aired. Taken to X, she wrote, it's, it is actual malfeasance on the part of ABC News that there isn't one single conservative woman on The View. Well, they say Alyssa Farrah Griffin's conservative, but she's really not. This morning, who voted for Trump or simply isn't repulsed by his supporters to explain to America why he is still so popular. So, Megan, I don't do this often, but good for you. So, what do you guys think out there of the, uh, I guess it's, I don't know, awake? <laughs> the wake they put on, on The View yesterday? Uh, comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time if you would. Give me a like. Smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't know why you're not. I mean, I'm just a guy sitting in his home office, making videos, sharing my thoughts, sharing my opinion. Some of you may find it interesting. So hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that... I will see you guys.